Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, greetings from the One Young World Summit Bangkok Kalan Cup. My name is Hasna Suzara Tuvniri. I'm from Madagascar, and I'm here to represent all Malaga's young people. I address this speech to my country leader, Mr. President Eradzonar Mapian, but also to the worldwide policymakers. Madagascar is the third country in the world most, most affected by natural disaster according to the Commune Initiative for Advocacy in Madagascar. Climate change has resulted in the halving of rainfall from 1,530.4 mm of rain in 1960 to 767 mm in 2000. Crop cycles and local water management are disrupted as a result. In the last two years, cyclones have intensified and increased in frequency to at least five per year and caused flooding in the capital. Although in the southern regions, famine and drought have amplified the vulnerability of about 92% of population, more than 20 million people. Natural disasters are worsening poverty and undermining current economic development efforts. However, in Madagascar, climate change is not yet a primary concern of the government. Mr. President, increasing natural disasters will worsen the population's poverty situations. So, we need to preserve Madagascar's forests to fight against desertification. Our priority, all our efforts need to conserve and maintain the forests. They are vital not only to capture and store carbon, but they also alleviate climate change by ensuring fresh water for domestic use, irrigation, and hydroelectric power. I remain convinced the sensitization of youth to environmental sustainability and advocacy to use of clean energy or actions that will help fight the impacts of climate change. Mr. President, as a delegate speaker representing all Malaga's young people, I'm recommending these actions become government priorities. First, inserting environmental education and sensitization into the primary schools program. Enforcing the national policy of intensive reforestation. Finally, establishing a policy for the daily use of renewable energy instead of focusing on the exploitation of fossil fuels one of the main causes of climate degradation. Mr. President, young citizen, by now we are committed to the viability of our future. Thank you.